Eileen, another question that I'm frequently asked is how can I reduce being a patient the risk of developing pancreatic cancer? So that's a, a very good question and on a public health basis perhaps the most important single thing that we can recommend uh, to families where pancreas cancer is present mm -hmm. is not to smoke because uh, we know that people who have a history of, of smoking have an increased risk of pancreas cancer. I think maintaining a healthy lifestyle is important, uh, as close to recommended body weight as possible mm -hmm. is good, and a balanced uh, diet uh, may reduce risk. And in families where there is a predisposition to pancreas cancer, one of the ways that we think about reducing risk is to have uh, those family members enrolled on screening programs and registries, uh, and occasionally we'll think about um, bigger interventions if we see abnormalities in the pancreas that might suggest that a person is at risk of developing the disease. Eileen, another question and uh, something that I have a major problem in my patient population is how to convince them to stop smoking particularly patients that have been smoking for years. Some of them I have seen that they have a very strong willpower and they can do it on their own. There's some medications out there also and there's actually some specialists that would actually be referred the patient to and do a very good job. Do you have any tricks? Do you have anything else that you can tell the patient to strongly motivate them to stop smoking? Yeah, I think that's another key issue. And I think encouragement and support, and even when they think that stopping smoking may not help them, that even if a person is diagnosed with pancreas cancer with regard to treatment and tolerance of treatment and outcomes, we know that smoking cessation is very important. So I think linking into educational resources, into psychologists who are interested in this area, mm -hmm. encouraging the family to support that family member uh, is, is key. And as you mentioned, sometimes using medication support uh, to help uh, stop smoking. But I, I, we probably don't do as good a job as we should in terms of really emphasizing that message. I agree. I totally agree.